Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ty Dillon's Geico Chevrolet for 2017. Let's take a look at the box here. It's your typical generic 2017 box. Got Ty Dillon, 13, action 25 years, Jermaine Racing. Got a picture of Ty Dillon in a generic black fire suit. Why? Uh, Lionel, you real? This is a brand new release. Like, this just came out last week. It took you that long and you couldn't even get a Geico photo on the fire suit picture? Whatever. <laughs> Ty Dillon, action 25 years, got to render the car, 2017 Geico, standard finish. It made a total of 565 of these things, standard finish, 13, Ty Dillon, Ty Dillon, 17, Platinum Series, all that good stuff you would expect by now. Let us get down to the car itself. In those very nice, colorful Geico colors that everyone's come to know pretty well by now. Basically the same paint scheme that Casey Mears ran last year. That was definitely kind of a back and forth thing, you know what I mean? Like, some people go either way. Some people are like, they're really sad and like mad that Jermaine would just dump Casey Mears like that after all those loyal years. But then again, Ty Dillon is definitely probably a better driver than Casey Mears. So, I don't know. He's been decent in this car so far. He's gotten some good top 15s and top 20s for a rookie. He hasn't really gotten any top 10s or top 5s or even come close to winning anything yet, which is kind of a shame, but he's been up there. I do remember, I think it was Daytona, he was actually up there battling for the win at the end. Maybe he did get a top 5 or top 10 in that race, but overall he's just been kind of decent enough in this car. I mean, this isn't exactly like a top team, highly funded car you're going to get like top 10s with every race. But neither did Casey Mears, so you know. <laughs> but anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. This does have Monster and all that. As the, like I said, it is a modern release, newer release, whatever you want to call it. There you can see the rookie stripes on the back. So you know if you're into rookie cars, this is one you have to pick up. This is a primary standard rookie car. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Geico. You see that that O isn't exactly lined up perfectly right there. Or that Lionel incredible decaling. Got Chevrolet SS13 Jermaine Racing. Down the side, you have Geico. Down there, you have Twisted T, Wix Filter, Sherman Williams, and Zach Products. Got the Breast Cancer Ribbon and Camus Vineyards. And then have Gracie and a Heart. You know, I, I knew what that was at one point, but I kind of forgot what it was after that. Uh, I think it's something, it's something with the team, not Ty Dillon. Up there you have Ty Dillon's name. You got the little horns, Twitter logo, American flag. It said this does have Monster, Monster, and Monster. NASCAR race car, the correct logo. Updated Coors Light logo. It does have the Sunoco Rookie Contender logo right there. Also, I feel like pointing this out, but see, there's what I mean with the detailed rims. They do do them. Like, somebody was literally on the, what was it, the Chase Elliott Hooters review, and I was like, oh, this doesn't have them. Somebody was like, that's because it's not supposed to have them. They're not detailing the rims. Yes, they are. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The little arrows, got the yellow lug nuts. I'm sure the Hooters car is just a mistake, but I don't know why anyone's trying to deny that they're supposed to be like that this year, because this is a Platinum Series car. But anyways, on the back, you have Geico Chevrolet SS 13 and the Rookie Stripes. Nothing on the deck lid. Geico on the roof. This is number 221. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under the hood if it wants to open. Just have one Chevy bow tie, nothing else. Surprised it doesn't say Geico. There you have the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. You get your typical fuel cell and such back there. As you saw before, the roof flaps do in fact open. And there is the underside of the car if you want to see that. This does have a bunch of little flaws and stuff that Lionel's gotten worse at for some reason. Like I said, you already saw the Geico, or the O being off. You see, like, right there, there's a little, like, scuff mark right there. A little bit of some scuffs right there. You can see it's a little bit uh, weird up at the roof flap areas right there, where you can see there's a lot of little, like, mess-ups. It's definitely gotten worse. I'm not going to deny that. I don't know why it's gotten worse, but it has gotten worse, and it's kind of annoying. Because like I said, there's little flaws in every car, but for some reason it does seem like they have gone down in quality even worse. You see some spots on the back. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, luckily little things like that you don't really see in a display case, but it's definitely kind of disappointing. But who knows. This car is pretty accurate to what ran. I mean, sometimes little logos added, like right there. On in Daytona, there was a twisted T deck lid that was solid yellow, but it looks stupid, so I'm glad they didn't add that. The only thing that I'm weird about is like that there's always logos on this B post here. For some reason, they don't put them on the diecast very often. 
This is one of three Geico cars they're making for Ty Dillon this year. They're making this one, they're making the patriotic like camo salutes one, and they're making the Jonathan throwback. I might get the camo salutes one because I kind of like that paint scheme, but who knows? If you want this car, like I said, it is a brand new release, so get it now while it's still around because, you know, rookie cars like this, it might get disappeared. If he goes to RCR next year, this will be one of those one-off rookie car, like, random team cars, and those are usually fun. So there's that. But in general, it is definitely a very nice-looking car. Hopefully you can get one with a little less quality control issues than mine is, but who knows? Like I said, Lionel's gone down in quality. But I think I've changed dollars to say. This has been a review of Ty Dillon's Geico car from 2017. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.